Into us, into us, burning at both ends. For your love, for your love, let me Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. It is your celestial baddie Karen and she is back with another one. I have missed you guys so much and I hope you guys are doing amazing, okay? But your girl needed a reset, honey, okay? And I'm gonna take them as many times as I need to, okay? <laughs> but I am so happy to be doing this reading for you guys. I really do appreciate the love and support. And for those of you who are dedicated, you know, subscribers, followers, who really, really understand my craft and who I am as a spiritualist, I really, really appreciate the love that I receive. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, my readings are now open. You can check out my website, goddessofwhispers.com. We do have a 24-hour turnaround reading option that is specific to your own situation. If you are looking for answers, for those of you who book with me, you know your girl is about that life, okay? So let's dive into the energy of the collective. So in the pre-shuffle, and keep in mind, this will not resonate with each and every person. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's dive into the energy surrounding you, Aquarius, and see what is going on. I needed to first tap in and see where you guys are before we start flowing back into heavy readings and just to see, you know, how the collective is doing. So in the pre-shuffle, Mercury came out. Sharon, the energy Sharon, and we also have fourth house energy here as well. So something here is very deeply rooted is what I feel, right? This could even have something to do with someone's foundation being shooken up in some way, shape or form. There's still healing in the process or growth that is currently taking place within someone's life. Someone is definitely either needing to communicate with someone or maybe even communication with self to have some sort of understanding. It's all about perception here. You know, how things are being perceived, what information is being given, you know, that kind of thing. I also feel like for some of you, this could be surrounding the home front, maybe family, a family dynamic in some way, shape or form. This could even mean uh, for some of you here surrounding, you know, real estate opportunities. Maybe this is about, you know, purchasing a new home, maybe leaving a home, maybe losing a home, going through some financial difficulties. This is all surrounding, you know, Mercury energy and Sharon energy. So needing to grow or heal from the situation, maybe even seek forgiveness or maybe even needing to receive forgiveness uh, in some way, shape or form. There could be self-doubt here, trauma that is surrounding a situation, needing to release something that you're holding on to, you know, surrounding your foundation. This is about rejuvenation for someone, but most importantly, communication. Maybe how you're communicating. For some of you here, maybe needing to think outside of the box to come up with some new form idea to stabilize your situation in some way, shape or form. So let's dive a little bit deeper and see what is going on with my Aquarius coming back and diving into this energy, okay? Let's see what's going on. All right, so cut the deck. We have all tied up. Okay, so someone is feeling stuck. There's stuck energy here. This could even mean self-sabotage, right? You could be stuck in a cycle, maybe even in your thoughts a lot, feeling like you can't escape something that is happening in your life. This could even be habitual, guys. So, so there could be patterns that maybe you need to let go of that you are not letting go of in some way, shape, or form. Okay, for some of you here, there's stuck energy surrounding maybe a specific particular situation, feeling like you can't let go of something in some way for some of you here you could literally be tied up you know feeling like there's a lot going on for some of you feeling like your hands are tied when it comes to a situation maybe not knowing what to choose yeah i'm telling you i does this okay so we have attachment and you see how she's chained look look at this image she's chained to what is this I don't know she's chained chained to some type of pillar 
but she is also holding a mask on the other side. So this is about attachment to your past, maybe attachment to bad habits, attachment to people, places, and things that is keeping you stagnant. For some of you here, maybe not even facing some truths here that you need to face here in your life that you're not letting go of. Something here probably for some of you still needs to be revealed. And this could be why Mercury is showing up. Communication, needing to release, maybe receive for some of you here. Maybe there's a narrative in a situation that needs to be addressed in some way, shape or form. But there's definitely some sort of attachment. Give me one more. And I feel like this attachment is bringing about some form of growth for you is what I feel, okay? It's almost like you're learning from this. Uh, there's a lot of sensitivity around the situation. For some of you here, it could even be some type of generational trauma, maybe even a little shame to the situation for some of you, but definitely healing uh, is coming through here for you as well. So we have our last card, which is journey. So this is about moving forward. Okay, moving forward from some form of attachment for some of you here, this could even mean needing to get away, needing to let go, needing to take some type of trip. For some of you, this is just about finding a new path, right? Finding a new path on your journey that is going to change the dynamic that is surrounding you here in your life. If you are someone who is adventurous, maybe it's time for you to get back out there. Maybe it's time for you to take a road trip, see something a little bit different from a different perspective, from a different lens. Uh, now may be a time to, for some of you, you're relocating, right? So you have upcoming travel surrounding, because we did have fourth house, which is surrounding home, real estate. It could even be surrounding, you know, needing to move, maybe finding it hard to let go because you've, you've grounded so many memories surrounding that home front. For some of you, this is surrounding marital situation with the fourth house, okay? But Whatever this is for some of you, I'm feeling like as though there's movement. There's movement or a need for movement, right? A need to transition in some way, shape, or form. So you're moving, you're letting go is what it's... Yeah, cut the deck. <laughs> cut the deck. Look at that. Five of cups, six of swords. All right. This, this is clear as day, honey. So there is a situation here, Aquarius, that is mentally, physically, maybe even emotionally draining you, right? But I also feel like you may not be focused on the opportunities that is in front of you. I feel like it's time for you to start anew, maybe even time for you to let go. For some of you, you're being pushed in this direction, whether you want it or not because it's something that is actually best for you, even if you can't see it yet. Uh, you see here in this image, she's in a boat. She has the suitcases. What do you see here in the journey? The suitcases, there's a light. She's, in, she's on a path. So there's definitely some movement that is taking place here for some of you. This may even require some type of necessary transition in your life, needing to uh, leave something behind that is just not right for you anymore. And I know that c comes with a lot of emotions are tied to things, especially when you've grown to be comfortable in a situation. Uh, but I feel like for some of you, you're being pushed outside of your comfort zone because it's time for a change is what I feel. So let's see uh, what messages you do get. So we have the King of Swords showing up here in the reverse. Let's see what else. We'll take the top card. All right, give me some more. What's the energy here for Aquarius? What do they need to know in regards to the situation? You have three of pentacles. Mm. All right, give me give me some more. What's the message here for Aquarius? All right, let's see what that is. I believe that was the nine of cups. All right, and then we have the nine of cups in the upright. So this is definitely surrounding a very headstrong, tough situation. For some of you here, maybe even a situation that could be abusive in some way, shape, or form. Maybe feeling like something is not right in some way with this King of Swords. Someone is very headstrong in their decision. And it could even mean, it doesn't mean that the decision is right with this King of Swords showing up in the reverse. It just means someone is very, very 
headstrong when it comes to their thought process in a situation. And it's surrounding working something out, right? Coming together, working something out, trying to figure things out in the situation. But I also feel like in the essence of it all, and of course, this could very well be you, right? With this King of Swords, this is air energy. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But I feel like in the essence of it all, I feel like there's a win at the end with this Nine of Cups. Because what this is saying here is that there is some type of feeling that you will receive, right? But this feeling you're about to receive is something that for some of you here, you might not have ex expected. I feel like it's almost like an inner feeling of bliss, peace, letting go of that feeling of maybe even feeling overwhelmed in the situation. There's healing. That's a part of it as well, is what I feel. But I do feel like there's some sort of attachment to maybe even someone that you feel that you were manipulated by. Maybe you were the one who did the manipulation. So take it as it resonates for you. But there's some type of manipulation to the situation or maybe even feeling uh, taken advantage of, conned in some way, shape or form. Like someone is not standing on ethics, right? Or doing the right thing in some way. And they're using their wit all right, so this person could be somebody who's very smart, uh, very conning, very smart. Hold on, guys, let me drink a sip of my coffee here. But very conning, very smart in a situation. For some of you, it could be surrounding like child support in some way, like trying to figure something out in that aspect. The King of Swords in reverse could represent legal issues as well. Uh, but I do feel like there's some sort of victory, like all tied up, meaning you're attached to this situation, giving family dynamic here for some of you, okay? Maybe t attached to this situation because of children for some of you here, right? We did have communication needing to heal from the situation, right? All right, let's see what else. What else can you give me? What's the message here? What else can you give me? Thank you. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles showing up in the reverse. Yeah, a lot of masculine energy in the reverse. Let's see what this is. The Chariot. I'm telling you, there's movement here. There is movement needing to make some sort of transition or change. Yep. Four Swords. This is about taking care of you. Some type of healing energy here surrounding self-care, self-respect taking care of you, doing what's right for you here with this four swords. Maybe for some of you here, taking a break, taking a time out to recover from the situation, time to think, you know, there's solitude energy surrounding you, but most importantly, healing. It's almost like weaving, you know, your heart back together in some way, shape or form, right? But this is about overcoming some things here uh, in a situation that might not have been very practical, for some of you here, this could even be surrounding finances in some way, shape, or form with this King of Pentacles in the reverse, like feeling like the situation is not stable or it's not offering you stability. It could even be surrounding the career, work, take it as it resonates for you, right? Fourth house, foundation, foundation, whatever that looks like for you. But what it's saying here is that there is corruption or manipulation, maybe even bribery, in this situation this could even represent jealousy in some way like jealousy was a factor in the situation but i also feel like it's about finding a way to overcome this though with this chariot like feeling like you need to either make a decision you may even be feeling like we did have all tied tied up an attachment to situations so maybe even for some for some of you here feeling like you're at some sort of crossroads is what I feel. All right. What is the overall outcome of this? What is the overall outcome of this? Cut the deck. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Other side. Page of Cups. All right. Let's see. Actually, the Eight of Wands is in the upright. Page of Cups. Let's see. Give me one more. What's the solution? So, so far, without even getting the other card, the solution is obvious. Mercury, right? Communication. Eight of Wands is communication. Needing to hash some things out. 
Page of Cups is about receiving messages. So, yep, Queen of... Woo-wee! We have the King of Swords showing up in the in the reverse and the Queen of Swords showing up in the upright. The Queen of Swords, right? Even though she has that, be that bitch rest face, okay? And she's about her business. She don't take no bullshit. One key factor about her, she's about finding solutions. She will find the solution to a problem. So this is about communicating effectively and finding the answers that you need. So for some of you, like I said in the beginning, because uh, when I saw this nine of cups, it gave me an energy of like something that you feel will not come to pass actually does come to pass. And look at this image here on the page of cups, the pig, right? It's almost like that saying when pigs fly. So I feel like this is something about receiving some sort of message, some sort of communication, and coming up with some form of solution here to the problem that is happening here for you guys. So let's dive in and see what's hidden. What is hidden? withdrawn so this is about someone here withdrawing their energy their feelings this is about solitude taking time taking a break from the situation we have intimacy that's coming through here as well all right give me some more so about confiding in one another connecting in a way that's a little different as far as like wait hold on let me see what else we got obscurity yep yeah. okay bottom of the deck yep sorrow all right so connecting in a way that is going to either reconnect you in some way shape or form for some of you you could be missing that you know that intimacy you felt in the situation that bonding that you felt in the situation for some of you it's just the confidence that you felt overall and it could even mean within self but someone here has become withdrawn you could be feeling abandoned and unappreciated in a situation because either you or someone walked away, right? And it has something to do with some type of secrets, obscurity, somebody's hiding something. We did have that attachment card that had the mask, someone was holding the, that she was holding the mask in one hand. So it's like someone is not revealing something, they're concealing something. I'm seeing the tattoo of the rose. So this is about speaking some truths here, right? We had communication, healing. It's about really and truly getting beneath the surface and having some sort of conversation. I'm looking at the books that they're reading in this image. And when you're reading a book, you're reading for information, right? You're reading to find, you know, what's next or what's to come. And, you know, that anticipation of reading, right? Um, so I do feel like it's about coming to some type of resolve surrounding a situation, maybe even finding out what the next chapter is, you know, for yourself or for the situation together. But something here is hidden. For some of you, this was revealed and this could be why you needed to walk away or maybe that person needed to walk away from the situation. It's leaving someone in a lot of solidarity. Right? We also have sorrow, which speaks of loss, grief, depression, right? We had that five of cups energy show up in the reading in the beginning of the read, feeling like you need to make this transition. You needed to do what was necessary is what I feel. All right, let's close out with the overall advice. Let's close out with the overall advice for you guys. Let's use this deck. What is the advice you have for Aquarius? Cut the deck, evil queen other side rewrite i love that well villain is what it says but it means rewrite so let's read into it let's get into it so it says evil queen you deserve sugar not salt and then we have villain it says you can always rewrite your story and that is what i was getting from this whole reading it's almost like someone's in an energy of starting anew right rewriting their story letting go of the memories in some way that you have created in a situation is what it's indicating but this is about telling you here that the story starts and ends with you and it can only begin again with you so you are always the key to the way you want your life to prevail so I feel like 
the message is very clear. It's about rewriting your story. And whenever that feels right for you, right? So don't feel pushed to heal. Don't feel pushed to be something that you're not. Don't feel pushed to... let go sooner and and I say I say that very lightly right because I feel like we all need to let go of people places and things that's not right for us but I also feel like we need to let go within within our means you know what I mean um I feel like sometimes we we do things to please people but sometimes we have to go through the process in order to get to where we need to be, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> but we also have evil queen users deserve sugar, not salt. So pretty clear as day, right? Because salt and sugar, they can, they can seem to be the same, right? And that's that deceiving energy. So someone here could have could be dealing with a situation where uh, they were given salt instead of sugar. So that manipulating energy, someone could have came off as they were sweet, but really and truly they were salt the whole time. So it's telling you here to put yourself in high regard. This is about self-love, self-respect, but also to letting go of things that's just not right for you, even if it means starting over. Right, but start over at your own time and at your own pace. But always put you first. Be kind to your soul. Love you guys. Ciao.